Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over my monthly expenses. We are also going to be comparing my monthly expenses over the last few years. You guys are going to be shocked to see how much I have been spending per month for a while and how much I'm spending now. I'm really curious if what is real is what you guys think of me. This is sort of a personal video, but I think it will help a lot of you guys and hopefully, hopefully by me sharing some life experience and explaining where I am in today's exact perspective, which I haven't always been here, I can hopefully help some of you or if nothing else, I'm sure maybe some of you guys are curious about this. All right, so first, before we dig into some exact numbers and show you guys exactly how much I'm spending per month and why I choose to live this way, etc., I think by looking at my Instagram page, we can maybe tell a little bit of the story of how we've gotten here. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me. I'm at Benji. I do follow some of you guys back. I've followed plenty of you guys back in the past. And I've actually became pretty close friends with some of you guys ever since we've been following each other. So follow me on Instagram, hit me up. But this is my Instagram page here, whatever. Don't judge, please. It's just the typical sort of uh, millionaire guru Instagram page, which is an important part of the story because that is sort of how I shaped up to where I am today and where my thought processes are today, etc. But it's important to learn from your past and to look back at it. So here we are on my Instagram page right here. As you see, we got lots of yachts, rented yachts. We got, you know, G-Wagon, Lamborghini, very, very expensive condos, traveling, all the stuff you see across Instagram, blah, 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 which at the time I thought was super, super cool. I was like very concerned about building out my online presence this way. And for the most part, I was just living my everyday life. Um, I also was, of course, very concerned about building an online presence for myself to sort of match what the other uh, marketing guys or the other entrepreneurs in the space were doing. This is of course important and relevant because at this time of my life, 2016, 2017, 2018, I started making a lot of money for myself and I was spending a lot of money. So I was going on vacations decently often around the US, nothing too crazy. I mean, I was never like blowing crazy, crazy amounts of money on vacations, but I was traveling quite a bit. Um, I also spent quite a bit of money on vehicles in the last five years, I've probably spent somewhere of around $400,000 on cars, maybe a little bit more. Of course, you get a lot of that money back when you sell them, but regardless, that's just a lot of money to be shelling out for vehicles, especially when you work from home and you don't really even have anywhere to go like myself. So I was spending a lot of money on cars and I've always been into cars. So I've been a car nut since I was like 15 years old. I love working on cars, etc. cetera. Um, but Still, spending that much money on cars is not the brightest thing to do, in my opinion. So basically, long story short, I was making a lot of money and spending a lot of money. I was still making a lot more than I was spending. So luckily, I was never in a situation where I'm like, let's say, bringing in $10,000 and I'm spending $9,999. It was never that bad, of course. But I still was spending a lot more money that now, sitting here now and looking back, I'm sort of disappointed in some of my purchases, although a lot of my purchases were made with thought out reasoning, like the Lamborghini, for example, I bought the Lamborghini under market value. I drove it for a year and I sold it um, for not that much less than I bought it for. I think I might have taken a net loss on the Lamborghini of like maybe $6,000 or $8,000. So someone can go to a Honda dealership and buy a Honda Accord brand new for like $28,000 drive it for a few years and it's not even going to be worth you know twenty thousand dollars so in that aspect sure it wasn't that bad of a decision but there were spending errors i made over the last five years in which again now looking back and now being so into investing i'm just like every dollar does count so of course as i got more mature and just more financially literate i really tightened things up and i want to show you guys now how i was spending then versus how i'm spending now all right, so here we have a real look at my monthly expenses. Now, these expenses do not include business expenses. Obviously, for my businesses, I have overhead. I have to buy products. I spend money on marketing. I spend money on all kinds of things for business-related reasons. But for the most part, these are just my like personal expenses. And if you guys do want me to go over like business expenses for a video, if that's interesting to you guys, let me know. I'm more than happy to do so. But this right here is what I was spending through 2017 to 2020. And again, this isn't all exactly what this gives you an idea. It paints a picture of what we're looking at. So cell phone bill, not too crazy, $110 a month. Electricity bill, somewhere around $89 a month because I was living in a pretty small condo at the time during this time frame. Uh, insurance for my car was over $500 per month. And I did have two and three cars at one point. So I was paying like probably around seven, $800 a month just in car insurance. Again, for cars that I don't really even need, I work from home and I lived in a beautiful city where I could walk to everything, including grocery stores, gym, bar, 
um, clubs, all that stuff. I literally could walk almost anywhere, even the beach, but I still had various cars for whatever reason. Looking back again, I'm just being critical guys. I'm not like mad about all these decisions I made, but I'm of course being critical for this reason because we are talking about expenses and I'm a frugal dividend investor as well as real estate investor. So it goes with the theme that I'm trying to retain as much money as possible moving forward. I'm not trying to blow money on dumb things, especially stuff like car insurance. So as far as gas goes, I had multiple cars. I was spending around $200 a month in gas at this time. Um, I had a Lamborghini, a G-Wagon. The G-Wagon was horrible in gas. A Lamborghini, I didn't drive all that much. Uh, but when I did drive, it was very expensive on gas because um, I drove fast. Groceries, about $250 a month. Nothing too crazy there. Um, out to eat food, around $120 a month. Don't really go out to eat all that much. Spotify re, uh, subscription, $10. Bucks. Amazon, $15 a month. Um, student loan payments, I still do have. We can talk about why I still have some student loan payments if you guys are interested. Sort of an obvious reason I have them because my interest rate is so low on student loans where it makes sense to just keep the money in the market. Um, my rent at the time was $4,500 a month for multiple years. So I think in the last few years I spent, in the last three years, I probably spent well over six figures in rent, um, which now I have nothing to show for it at all. Um, utility bill, around 25 bucks a month for like water or whatever. And then the Lambo payment, I did take out a loan on it. I was paying like $21.50 a month, somewhere around there. So my all expenses at this time, just personal expenses. These aren't even business expenses, which business expenses are another, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. We're looking at $8,200 some change. All right, so now let's take a look at expenses as of now. So since then, I got rid of the Lambo. I sold it. Like I said, I sold it for almost as much as I bought it for. So we ended up doing decent on that. Um, I also bought multiple houses since then. I bought a primary house uh, within that, which I paid um, half down payment and half I financed. But we'll go through the list right here. So cell phones the same, electric bills a little bit more because now we are in a house. We are not in a um, smaller condo. Our house is like five times as big as the condo, but it is not even all that bad. It's around like 130, 150 a month. Um, insurance for my car, I now drive a BMW SUV, just have one simple car. I bought cash. No car payment. Insurance is very cheap because it's a very safe, you know, modest car. Gas for the car, really cheap. 75 bucks a month if even. Groceries around 250 a month, about the same. Out to eat food, about the same. Spotify, same. Amazon, same. Student loan, same. As far as the mortgage goes, we do have a mortgage on our primary house. The reason we have it is pretty basic. Um, it's because I locked in a really good rate under 3% on the um, loan. I think it's right under 3%, like 2.89 or something. And if I ever want to pay it off early, I can always pay it off early if I want to, or I can even take more money out of it because I have like 55% equity in the house right now. Um, utility bill, about 75 bucks a month here. It's a little bit more expensive. And then HOA we do have at this house, which stinks, but it does cover cable, internet, security, all kinds of stuff. So HOA isn't all that bad. So the total expenses went from in the way I was living a few years back when I was a bit younger, a little bit more flashy. I was spending around $8,200 a month just on like, you know, everyday expenses. Now I've lowered it down to less than half that at 3700 a month. And on top of that, some of these things will go down over time. If I do decide to pay off my mortgage, I mean, I could at any point, I could pay off this mortgage and, you know, just really lower this down to like $1,700 a month. The reason this is important, and I do think all of you guys should go through your um, personal expenses and see where you're at is because again, there's a lot of things I actually canceled out. I had a list of my personal expenses. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like maybe 40 lines at one point years ago, but I slowly cross things off, you know, subscriptions. How many of how many of you are signed up for so many subscriptions that you don't even use? I was one of those people as well. So I was able to cross off a lot of things, really simplify my life. And at this point, I can safely say that all of my investments cover my monthly um, personal expenses by far. Uh, which is sort of the goal. That's basically retirement there. So at 28 years old, um, I'm officially sort of at a break-even point where monthly income from investments, from various investments, um, do cover my living expenses. Most of those investments are passive as well. And if not, they're very simple and I enjoy doing them. So the next goal for me at this point is to try to get to a point to where I have my investments cover my living expenses as well as like give me like, you know, $10,000, $20,000 a month in which I can use that money to travel and you know do whatever I want with it, honestly. Maybe not even travel, maybe just buy fun stuff for fun. But until I get to that point, I'm going to be pouring more money, all my money into investments to try to get higher and higher to that point. So there we have it, guys. There's a little bit of a story time about how I cut my expenses in half over the last year just by cutting out unnecessary things in my life. There still are things I spend money on that I probably could do a little bit better on. But for the most part, I try to be as frugal as I can in as many ways as I can in my life. By the way, I still do enjoy life. I go out and you know do normal stuff with friends and stuff like anyone else does but for my baseline uh you know personal 
um, expenses. I want them to be as low as possible and I want them to continue to be as low as possible because again, the goal is to have my investments cover all of my expenses. At that point, you are literally financially free. You can spend your days doing whatever you want, hanging out with whoever you want, hanging out with your family, friends, hang on alone. You can literally do anything at all. So that's my goal. That's where I'm sort of at right now. But again, the next goal from here is to get to a point where my investments cover my expenses plus a lot, lot more. So if this video was interesting to you guys, make sure to please drop a like in the video, leave any comments or questions down below and make sure to please subscribe. Thanks again as always for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.